So this is roughly some of the areas that has been searched up these lower level ravines. I actually forgot to place a marker here over the top, climbed up from the back up. Oh, it's not going to work. The top over here and kind of went down here and back again. That was the, this is roughly the areas I've searched. And if you go further down, uh, to kind of basically reduce the, the cost, vehicle cost, uh, a lot of times in the latter time, latter hikes, you, a lot of energy. This is actually in hindsight, it's a waste of energy walking up the uh, Alamo because this is a much long, this, this trek here, even across smoother terrain, always felt longer uh, if it's on a round trip than, than the actual field hike. I'm not good at marking these paths out, so. Here we go, erase. Um, so here, if you look at this, these ravines, okay, um, actually I forgot, yeah, there's another narrow ravine, yes, I, I thought I could mark this one. There's deeper vegetation, some of these areas, deeper vegetation, where essentially where, you know, basically uh, any remains can be hidden by vegetation, dense vegetation. Not only dense vegetation, here's the thing, a lot of people are thinking, all right, you're going to go there. Um, even, even arguments with Jeff Claw, you're, they're looking looking for the remains of a basically a person hidden by vegetation. But after years, you might have a small fragment. You you have to literally you comb the desert. Um, so even if someone fell, you can you, you can you can do the most perfect. Um, well, actually, hold on a second. Even if someone fell, the ravine is a lot bigger in the actuality. If you're trying, if you're doing a perfect sweep, you're, you're not going to do a perfect sweep because otherwise you'll be there in the entire day. The sun will go down, and you're just doing a perfect. Uh, not unless you know you have someone. Uh, you, you know, you, you see how the people doing a sweep of the uh, of the carrier decks to make sure there's no debris. You have uh, everyone shoulder by shoulder. So unless you have everybody doing a shoulder-by-shoulder -shoulder sweep, uh, there's the, the actual forensics of recovery. It's very easy. So even if someone, okay, in open ground, they fell here. They collapsed here. They perished here. I mean, there's possibility with uh, animals, with activity, you might not find anything. You'll need, like, you'll need the, uh, you'll need basically uh, a fine, you know, carrier deck sweep, back, even on flat terrain shoulder by shoulder every inch every inch every inch and someone finds a you know a, a tiny bone fragment that's what i think anyway but i to me this is again it's i feel like it is solved but basically uh going over the friend's map of the area and places where a potential fall and just some of the potential discussions with uh, Jeff Claw about the... Uh, so the whole thing about vegetation, that seems to be a moat point. Open ground, you might have a microfragment. So vegetation or no vegetation, uh, even on open ground, it's still, it, it could still theoretically be very difficult for anyone to stump onto anything to do with any type of human remains whatsoever. 